Lead has four stable isotopes. 204 petabits, 206 petabits, 207 petabits, 208 petabits. Lead 204 is entirely a primordial nuclide and is not a radiogenic nuclide. The three isotopes Lead 206, Lead 207, and Lead 208 represent the ends of three decay chains. The uranium series, the actinium series, and the thorium series, respectively. These series represent the decay chain products of long lived primordial U238, U235, and Th232, respectively. However, each of them also occurs, to some extent, as primordial isotopes that were made in supernovae, rather than radiogenically as daughter products. The fixed ratio of lead 204 to the primordial amounts of the other lead isotopes may be used as the baseline to estimate the extra amounts of radiogenic lead present in rocks as a result of decay from uranium and thorium. The longest-lived radioisotopes are 205 petabits with a half-life of tilde 15.3 million years and 202 petabits with a half-life of tilde 53,000 years of naturally occurring radioisotopes. The shortest half-life is 22.20 years for 210 petabits, which is useful for studying the sedimentation chronology of environmental samples on time scales shorter than 100 years. The relative atomic mass is 207.2. Lead is the element with the heaviest stable isotope, 208 petabits. A total of 38 petabits isotopes are now known, including very unstable synthetic species. In its fully ionized state the isotope 205 petabits also becomes stable. Lead 206. 206 petabits is the final step in the decay chain of 238U, the radium series, or uranium series. In a closed system, over time, a given mass of 238U will decay in a sequence of steps culminating in 206 petabits. The production of intermediate products eventually reaches an equilibrium once this stabilized system is reached. The ratio of 238U to 206 petabits will steadily decrease, while the ratios of the other intermediate products to each other remain constant. Like most radioisotopes found in the radium series, 206 petabits was initially named as a variation of radium, specifically radium G. It is the decay product of both 210 Po by alpha decay and the much more rare 206 teraliters by beta decay. Lead 207, 208, and 204. 207 petabits is the end of the actinium series from 235U. 208 petabits is the end of the thorium series from 232TH. It is notable for its unusually low neutron capture cross-section, making it of interest for lead called fast reactors. While it only makes up approximately half of the composition of lead in most places on Earth, it can be found naturally enriched up to around 90% in thorium ores. 204 petabits is entirely primordial, and is thus useful for estimating the fraction of the other lead isotopes in a given sample that are also primordial. Any excess lead 206, 207, and 208 is thus assumed to be radiogenic in origin allowing various uranium and thorium dating schemes to be used to estimate the age of rocks. Table. Carrot abbreviations. EC. Electron capture IT. Isomeric transition. Carrot bold for stable isotopes. Bold italics for nearly stable isotopes. Carrot ABC used in lead lead dating. Carrot believed to undergo alpha decay to 200 Hg with a half-life over 140 times 1015 years. Carrot final decay product of 4n plus 2 decay chain. Carrot believed to undergo alpha decay to 202 Hg. Carrot final decay product of 4n plus 3 decay chain. Carrot believed to undergo alpha decay to 203 Hg. 
carat final decay product of 4N decay chain. Carat heaviest observationally stable nuclide, believed to undergo alpha decay to 204 Hg with a half-life over 2 times 10 19 years. Carat cluster decay product of 223 Ra, which occurs in the decay chain of 235 U. Carat AB intermediate decay product of 238 U. Carat intermediate decay product of 235 U. Carat intermediate decay product of 232 Th. Notes evaluated isotopic composition is for most but not all commercial samples. The precision of the isotope abundances and atomic mass is limited through variations. The given ranges should be applicable to any normal terrestrial material. Geologically exceptional samples are known in which the isotopic composition lies outside the reported range. The uncertainty in the atomic mass may exceed the stated value for such specimens. Values marked hash are not purely derived from experimental data, but at least partly from systematic trends. Spins with weak assignment arguments are enclosed in parentheses. Uncertainties are given in concise form in parentheses after the corresponding last digits.